Well, here we go. Got another session on the canal. Going out exploring, trying to find these carp. It's a stretch I've never fished before. I cycled it um, the other day and I found a lovely little feature. A little stream comes into the canal. So I'm going to push the barrow there. It's a bit of an old push. Just realised my um, tyre's not very firm. So it's um, taking a bit of pushing. But I'll get there. Beautiful evening. Yeah, let's get on with it. That's a nice sunset. I've got about an hour before it goes dark, so I best get a move on. The canal looks good. Love the tree line canal. It's always quite exciting this first trip on a new spot. You just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> There's a little feature. I'll get myself down here, I think. There we go. Beautiful. Yep, that'll do. Let's get the gear off the barra. It's steep for the barra to get down there. So I've to lift it off, no big deal. Got all three rods tackled up now. Fresh hooks, fresh hook baits, and then um, we're going to get them out there. I'm going to put one of them down to my right hand side margin. I've seen a couple of small fish topping down there, which is a good sign. And I'm going to put the other two just each side of this little feature on the opposite bank. One pretty close and I'll put one about two rod lengths off in slightly deeper water. Let's see how we go for tonight. Right, let's get them out there. And at this near side rod is going down my right hand margin. We'll just walk it down the bank. You can see a couple of little fish topping now, and that's exactly where it's going to go. Pull it so I know in front of this tree. Uh, I remember those bushes in the night, so I have to put it on the right, um, right spot again if it goes. Yes, I like that. The bait I've got, tigers and maize. Let's mix it up. Good old tigers, maize. I've got a few monster crab boilies. You see a little bit of fizzing already. What a great sign that is. See it there fizzing away. Wouldn't be surprised if that's a carp that. Wouldn't normally put one on its right on its head, but um I've got about 15 minutes of light left. I've got two other rods to do. Brilliant. Let's get some bait out. Tigers, maize. A staple diet for the carp. <laughs> I've got a few 20 mil monster crab boilies. 
plenty of stink to him quite a few crayfish in this section so we'll see how the barley's go I've got rock hard hook baits that way enough for a bite that'll do perfect yeah. Perfect. I'll do. Let's go back to the one close to the bank, and the other one's going to be a bit further off. Yeah, love it. Rods are out now. So, yeah, this is a result of me walking the canal all day, walking, push biking. Just looking for new new stretches and um, I like the look of this one. Rods are out now. No idea whether there's any carp in this stretch, but that's what it's about for me exploring. Nice little feature on the far bank. Little stream comes into the canal. I'm hoping there's gonna be a few crayfish knocking about. If you get a few crayfish, it's always a good sign on here. Yeah, come on. Let's get a bite. Well, unfortunately, not a sniff last night, not a touch on the rods. But that's exploring for you on the canals. Oh, I have been getting liners in that middle rod all night, so I was expecting it to rattle off, and it still might do yet, but... Um... Well, I've got something on. Don't know what it is, this. Don't think it's a cart. Oh. Oh, that's weird. There ain't no carp. But if it's a small one. Weird, that was. Very weird. Oh, it's a little carp. <laughs> yeah, take a look at this. It's a lovely Prussian carp. These carp, they do get called a few different names. They do look a bit like the UK Crucian, but you know they're not a, um, a proper carp because they've got no um, barbels on them. Yeah. But it's managed to get that 26 mil boil in its mouth. <laughs> yeah, let's get it back. I'll pat down now. Gonna go to the next stretch. I'm gonna get half of it on the barrel because that embankment's too high to push it up. I'd be able to push it half full and then um, just carry it over half up and load it up there on the path. But yeah, it's just, um, this is canal fishing exploring. you just got to keep trying different sections, keep putting that effort in. Keep moving around until you stumble across them. And um, this section's not to be, unfortunately. I'm going to try a couple miles further down now. Let's see what it brings. Right, here's a second stretch. And just go down there, it looks beautiful, it does. A bit more colour to the water. I'm seeing a few crayfish on the bank as well, so that's a great sign that. I think there's a couple of minks around here and the mink have been dragging them out. That's I want to see crayfish. <laughs> Carp love them on this canal. Give it a go on this sweeping bend up here. Try and catch one. Let's rock. Rods are out now on a second location. Probably about three miles further upstream on the canal. Got the first line, I'm going to swim. <laughs> That's good. Bruise on. Can't beat the first cup of tea on a new swim. It always gives you a bit of hope. And let's see what this afternoon brings in tonight. This is the view from the bivvy, a cracking view as well it is. Just started getting liners, 
and that middle rod. That bowls real well that. I've only been out maybe about two hours now. So um, yeah, I'm definitely expecting one from here. It feels good. It feels good this swim. This is the rig I'm using on the canal. It's my um, box standard rig. I've got um, a heavy duty gear. I've got a 70 pound mono leader. Direct to a hybrid lead clip. It's a four ounce flat pair. And I'm using a brutish hook link. That's actually an 80 pound hook link that. And um, that's a size two hook. Got a 22 mil bottom bait, which is rock hard and a 20 mil pop up on top. Very brutish gear and I'm fishing this me um my snag leader, 70 pound snag leader to 50 pound braid. And um so but you get you get all these roots sticking out on the canal. All the tree all the tree roots go out into the canal and it, it can be quite snaggy it can so um yeah you've got to use strong gear. How stunning is that evening? <laughs> Alright, come on, let's get this rod out. Let's get one caught. <laughs> yes, here's the first one of the trip. A beauty as well it is. I'm just nodding off. It's got to be about midnight, I reckon. And off uh, near margin. Yeah. Just over 30 pounds of um canal de midi carp. <laughs> oh yeah, what a beauty. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can make out in the night, but you've got a uh, tinge of pink to it because they've been on the crayfish these ones and that's why they're so heavy as well but it's a beauty oh and it's lively still that's why I'm not putting it in the retainer I'm just gonna put it back beautiful well happy with that one let's get him back ah. yes so this is an absolute stunning canal coming I had that one last night about midnight and this rattled off just before first light. I was putting a retainer for half an hour. But yeah, it's another 30, it's a brace of 30s. Check this beautiful thing out. Oh, it's lively. <laughs> but it's got a beautiful pink tinge to it because all the crayfish it's been eating. This one's 31 pound. Oh. What a beautiful canal coming. <laughs> this is why I'm fishing the canals, catching these unknown, uncaught fish. And I absolutely made up with this one. Yes, <laughs> let's put him back. Oh, that is a stunning fish. I'm so, so happy with that. Hey, <laughs> yes. Oh, what a great um, what a great night that fishing that was first night absolutely nothing um decided to to make a move like you got to do if there's no fish there there's no fish there you just got to make a move went a couple miles further further down the canal and um yeah put my rods out and a uh, brace of 30s <laughs> brace of 30 pound canal in really carp and um i'm so happy so tough for that that's awesome and um, you know what the difference is that is crayfish here and um, they make all the difference you find a, a certain section with a few crayfish in and you just know the carp are going to be real close and um, yeah both the carp were um, had tinges of pink to him so you just knew they were eating the crayfish so yeah yeah happy days and let's try and get one today as well <laughs> yeah bit of breakfast on the canal and I'm going to do myself a lovely omelette Come on, Rods, rattle off. Having a bit of rain all night. Canal's looking a bit murkier this morning. I'm sure there's a couple of carp knocking about, though. Yeah, come on. Oh, a bit of rain, a bit of wind, a little bit of a storm on its way. It's great to see this because we've been in such a heat wave over here the past about four months. Should bring the carp on. I'm getting the odd line and I have on that middle rod, so something's knocking about. Oh, oh. 
Oh, you can see the rig. That's been out a few hours and it's been crayfish to death, it has. It's actually been about eight hours that, so it's um, not too bad. Still fishing, comfortable with that, but that's an absolutely rock hard bait which you have to drill through. So if you're fishing just normal boys out the packet, it ain't gonna last. It's exactly what I want to see that. The crayfish about, you just know there's gonna be carp about. All right, get some new baits on, let's get out there. There we go. The old, um, the old crayfish. <laughs> and get in line as well. It's not letting go. <laughs> we get in line, little, little knocks on my rod tip. I had to wind it in because of a bolt coming past and um, crayfish on the end of it. <laughs> the old, old carp fodder that. Let's put him back. So the crayfish have been a bit more of a nuisance than they actually thought. And they are whipping down my rock hard bait, so can't beat a couple of jumbo tiger nuts. I like using pretty long hook links, they're about 12, 14 inches, them hook links. You never know what type of crud's on the bottom on these canals and rivers, it's bran old branches, so I want it to lay nice on the bottom. Let's get them out there. Let's go in. <laughs> First light fish. Beautiful. A few snags on that far margin. Yes. It's been a busy night, it's the third one tonight. First one I lost. I had one about an hour ago. It seems to be like the time to time to catch him just as it's going light. Oh, check this out for a beautiful canal coming. Just got it just on first light. You can see that pink tinge to it. Got it on the old tiger nuts. The crayfish are quite bad in here. Yeah, beautiful, right in the bottom lip, that one. Absolute beautiful fish, that. Love it. <laughs> nice fish, that. It's got to be about 32, 33 pound, that one. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> well, this is the fish. Went, went off at first light. What beautiful carp it is as well. Oh, it's half lively at the moment. You can see it's pinkish tinge where it's been eating the crayfish. As it's staple diet. This one's a, it's another 30. That means three 30s now from the canal in this trip. This is brilliant fishing. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful fish that is. So happy with it. First light, beautiful carp from the canal. <laughs> what a beautiful fish that is. I tell you what, it's chunky as well. Let's put him back. So this is the rig, I'm we'll starting to put out. It's a three and a half ounce gripper lead. Pretty long hook link, size two hook. I've got two jumbo tigers, a little bit of cork in between them just to take the weight of the hook out. And um, just about to put it out on that far margin. Let's get it out there. There we go. I'm just going to flick it over here. Perfect, that. Absolutely perfect. Stick a backlight on and bolts will be belting in a minute. Just get 
it into daylight. Perfect. And we're fishing. I'll put some bait out. Alright, look at that. Beautiful um, maize tigers. Absolutely perfect. Not putting loads out. I'm just going to put about probably three scoops out right on top of it. Try and get myself a bite. Oops. A bit further out than that. Perfect. Give myself over here a bit, I think. A bit of a better angle. That's the kitty. That's the one. Perfect, that. Put a little bit of bait out the stairs up. It's the second one of the morning. God, it's like peas in a pod, these. What beautiful fish. This one's probably 24, 25 pound, that one. It's a bit, um, it's not as wide across the back, this one. But stunning fish. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> this is why we love fishing for the unknown, fishing these canals. Because you're catching absolutely stunners like this. Oh, it's putting back. Thank you very much, fish. Yeah, this is it. Just packing up now, just got the rods to go. But what a great session. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant session. Three nights, um, first night, absolutely nothing, didn't hear the carp. So I moved, um, I moved stretches on a canal, moved two locks further downstream and five carp in two nights. Found some crayfish, found the carp and um, yeah, 3.30s, two mid-20s, so. <laughs> what a great session and um, long may it continue. <laughs> Look at that for a beauty. It's got a lovely pink tinge to it because it's been eating crayfish. What a canal stunner. <laughs> what a beautiful fish as well. It's a big old, big old one as well that. <laughs>